Good morning guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Oh my water, teapot's going off. Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is day 19. I can't believe Christmas is here in like six days. Well today's the 18th that I'm filming this, but I can't believe Christmas is literally next week. Yeah, so today is Sunday the 18th. Christmas is next Sunday, so it's actually exactly a week from today. Um, today's gonna be a busy day because we leave for New York tomorrow. It's gonna be like a quick, um, little two-day trip The World Cup is on like the final game. So that's why it's like on loud in the back I'm rooting for Argentina because this is probably gonna be Messi's last World Cup, so I'm rooting for them and France won last time so they don't need to win again We need Argentina to win. Yeah, we leave tomorrow So I want to get a lot of stuff done in the apartment I was gonna like go and do like some fun thing fun things today um, Like go and see the lights with my friends But I don't think we're gonna do that and I kind of want to just stay home and like clean and just get ready before we leave because any anytime I go anywhere it could be like a just a one night trip I like to leave the apartment looking spotless and clean and just having everything in place so that when I come home I can just unpack and relax so I want to clean the apartment I have so much laundry to do and a lot of the clothes that are in the hamper I want to bring with me I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear in New York I didn't do any shopping I wanted to get like some cute like clothes for New York but I don't think Oh, France just scored. Oh man, France just scored. Okay, um, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm very distracted this morning. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, so I want to clean. Oh yeah, outfits. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I need to pack. So, um, yeah, just a busy day around the apartment. And then tomorrow, we'll be like traveling and we'll get there. So tomorrow's vlog will be like a lot more exciting than today. But I'm excited to pack because I'm gonna like use my new like bags and suitcases. And I want to show you guys how I pack. So. Yes, we had a busy day today, so we'll get started by making a chai tea. So I showed the Nordstrom chai that I picked up a few vlogs ago, and I've been making my chai teas at home. I'm so obsessed with Nordstrom's spiced chai, particularly. It is very delicious, and I will show you guys how I make it. Sorry, I thought something was going on with the game. <laughs> oh my god, France just scored two goals in literally like, what was it, like a minute? <gasps> now they're tied, oh my god, oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, that's so crazy. Uh, okay, let me make this chai tea because I want to watch the rest of this game. So yes, okay, all you need is two ounces of hot water. I don't really like measure, I kind of just like wing it. Um, so you need hot water and then you need three tablespoons of the chai and then you need some steamed or heated milk. So yeah, my water is boiling on the stove and then I'm gonna make some hot milk with my Nespresso frother. You can like change the temperature settings. You can froth your milk either hot or cold. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna just put it all together. I mix the chai with the hot water first. It's kind of similar to making matcha. Um, I mix this with the hot water first and then I add my milk to that. So I'm gonna make it and I'll show you guys and it's very easy. did add a couple drops of the stevia liquid sweetener maybe like two or three drops not that much but here is the final chai very easy to make so let's taste it oh my god so perfect okay so day 18 and 19 I have to open because um, in yesterday's vlog I didn't open them so day 18 we got a another little mini product this is a shampoo and conditioner here we have a a wooden comb oh that's cute oh that is so cute i'm gonna go ahead and open up day 20 also because i won't be here we'll do that right now probably another little fragrance oh is this cherry blossom oh this looks like a nice florally scent the packaging for their scents are so adorable oh my gosh that is so pretty i'm trying to focus it so you guys can see the name um yeah that's the name of the scent it smells so gorgeous. I like this a lot better than the other fragrance that I opened, the one that smelled like kind of lemony. This one smells more florally, which is my favorite type of scent. So I might pack this with me because I don't want to bring a full-size fragrance with me. Okay, so that's all for a L'Occitane now in espresso. Okay, I'm going to just kind of go out of order. So here's day 19. We have Voltesso. 
day 18, another holiday pod. And now we're gonna do day 20, which is Costa Rica. Yeah, I've had this one before too. All right, so I did show my suitcase and bag already in a vlog. I showed this during my Black Friday haul, which was Vlogmas Day 2, which seemed like it was ages ago. So I've just had them sitting here. I um, haven't used them yet, so I'm going to take the tags off and start packing. So I think what I want to do to organize myself with packing is to put all of my like toiletries, all my makeup, and my shoes in this bag um, like all my makeup stuff and hair tools I won't bring that much like literally we're gone for two days so I don't need to pack that much and I love this weekender bag because it has a little compartment here that separates from the rest of the bag so I think I want to put my shoes here so that it doesn't touch any clothes or anything else and then I think for the carry-on I'm gonna just put um, like bags like my purses um, and then close. I do have my cosmetic case here that I also got at the same time as the weekender in the suitcase. Absolutely love this um, cosmetic bag. It is so nice at organizing things. I have this one in black too, and it comes with a mirror here, so you know you can do your makeup anywhere, and it just holds so much, and you can organize your brushes away from your makeup, and then the bag is just, you know, your typical bag. It does come with a laptop sleeve too, which I don't think I'll um, use this because like, I feel like that's just gonna add unnecessary weight, um, even though it's a small thing, but like, I feel like this will take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna just put my laptop in, you know, the little compartment here. Also I have to put all my tech stuff, like all my, you know, um, cameras, batteries, chargers. I do have another organizational little case for that. So this is my tech organization case. It has a lot of little slots that I use for my memory cards, my like cords, um, batteries and chargers and all that. So um, this is really nice and handy to have. And then this I just got, I never used it yet because I haven't traveled anywhere since I got it, but it's a pill organizer and since I'm taking a lot of like supplements and stuff. And this is my toiletry bag. I've had this for a couple years, show this many times before when I uh, film my pack with me videos, but I love this thing because it's just so nice and compact. You can like hang it wherever you go, um, hang it in the bathroom, and you can see all your essentials. Those are all the little, um, what do you call it, organizers that I'll bring with me. I think that's all that I'll need. And then um, I need to pick out my outfits. I'm gonna like try on outfits and uh, plan the outfits before I go so I don't pack too much. So I need to go through like all of my, um, Clothes. These are like clothes that I haven't really worn out yet. Um, so I'm thinking I want to bring like this top that I got from Princess Polly. I feel like that would be really cute to wear out at night. Um, we are going to an Italian restaurant one night for dinner, so maybe that I could wear that. Okay, the toiletries are all packed. So I have some makeup removers up here. These are all like toothbrushes, mouthwash, Q-tips, all the bath, toiletry things. I take my skincare and hair care very seriously. So we have all of my skincare products, my morning and nighttime skincare, um, and also my like hair leave-in products. Um, so that's all in there. And then I just have a comb and some hair ties. So that should fold up nicely and that's all I'll bring.
This is all the makeup that I'll bring with me. Not that much. I have all my like pencils, eyebrow, lip liners in there. And I have my brushes in this little compartment that you can detach and reattach um, with magnetic like clasps into the bag. And then zip it up and all done. I also packed up these two little organizational bags. This one doesn't have much in it yet because I still have to use a lot today when I edit my video, but like I have my cords here, I have my AirPods, and I still need to add my extra SD card, my um, battery, my extra battery, but that's charging right now. So I'll probably pack this like tomorrow morning, right before we leave, but my vitamin little pack is all ready, and I love this little thing. It is just so convenient. I have like my multivitamins, my B12. These are pretty much just all vitamins, and then all my like stuff that I'm doing like with the holistic doctor. I just labeled them with little post-it notes so I can keep track of like which ones I need to take when. I will link all of my organizational um, carry-ons and organizational things in my description. I'm also gonna bring my hydro flask. I bring this with me everywhere I travel now just in case there's like um, clean, like what do you call it, purified water fountains I can refill. And then I also packed this other little bag. These are like all of my like purse essentials cause I won't be like carrying a purse with me. I'm gonna just have this bag with me the whole time but I have my like really, really important stuff like my inhaler, my house key, the vitamins are in there. I have hand sanitizer, hand lotion, just stuff I would keep in my purse purse. Oh, and I forgot the most important thing, my wallet. Um, I usually never carry a wallet. I actually put all my cards in this little case now, but when I travel, I like to have like a full size wallet with me so that like if I need to reach for it really quickly in my bag, I can find it quicker than if I were to use like a small card case or this little um, coin purse. So yeah, I'm gonna bring my wallet with me too. So now I'm trying to put together some nighttime outfits. I only need two, so that's why I have these two laid out. Um, so I'm thinking I really like this top and that bag together. I don't know about the pants and I don't know about the shoes. I kind of want to go for like casual, cool, like street vibe, streetwear looks. These are both from Princess Polly. I showed them both in my haul um, a couple months ago. I loved how they looked on me. I think they were super cute. I definitely love that top. I'm bringing that for sure. Um, and the khaki pants, these are from Nordstrom. I tried them on in my um, Nordstrom video where I um, picked out vacation outfits. So um, I really like these pants. And these are the leather pants I got during Black Friday. Okay, so I did not like either of those outfits. I tried on those khaki pants and they were just way too big. I think I need to return them. So we will not be packing those. But I also have this mesh top from Princess Polly also. Um, I think I'm gonna bring this, this is really cute. Um, and then these gray pants, forgot all about them, but these are the ones that I just got from, and these gray pants, these are the ones I just got from Abercrombie. They are so comfortable, and I think the gray wash looks really nice with the silver heels. So um, I think this will be a look for night one. Yeah, I'm really digging this. And then I have my YSL Sunset bag. Um, so I might bring this. I was also thinking about bringing this bag. I don't know which one I like better. Um, let's see, put that away. Hmm, this one looks cute too, but I think I'm feeling the sunset bag a little bit more. Yeah, I think I will do the sunset bag. I'm thinking of packing this big faux fur coat too. I got this from Mango back in the summer and I have not worn it yet because um, I don't know why I was thinking I was gonna be wearing fur coats in the winter but I have not yet. I don't know, am I feeling kind of bougie? I think I am feeling bougie. I feel like this is a very New York jacket. I got this jacket from um, Mango. I'm thinking for the second outfit, I wanna do this. Um, I love this blazer so much, it's from Revolve. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Um, yeah, this is gonna be my second outfit. I love this skirt that I got from Zara a few weeks ago. I wore this on Friendsgiving, and I feel like this is just such a cute, like, kind of edgy outfit that would be cute for the nighttime. I'm feeling very, like, Kourtney Kardashian vibes with this outfit. I don't really pay attention to the Kardashians anymore, but I do notice what they wear and their style. Um, this is, like, a very Kourtney outfit, I feel like.
Okay, so I'm all packed. I had to make some executive decisions. I am not gonna bring that coat because it's just way too big, way too thick. Um, just to wear it once is not worth bringing. So I have all of my clothes in here. Um, I have one coat here, this is my blazer, my jeans. I brought a hoodie and the shoes or the boots didn't fit on the bottom of the Weekender bag. I had to put these here. The toiletry bag, it did fit in this bag, but it was just really tight. So I just ended up putting it here. And then I brought my Crocs, not my Crocs, my um, Birkenstocks. I really like the suitcase because it has this little two compartment um, slots. And they came with these little bags. It came with two of these bags. The other one says dirt bag. So for dirty laundry, I can um, use that bag and put the dirty laundry in there. So I thought that was a really nice addition. And it did also come with this part, this piece. It was like um, clipped on to the side here, but I took it out so I can have more room, but that's nice if you want to organize it some more. Hi you guys, it's a couple hours later. I had to go run a couple errands. I went to the bank and then I went to Target to pick up some snacks for on the road and I can't remember if I mentioned like how we're getting there but we're gonna be taking this bus called the jet it's called the jet bus it's like a luxury charter bus it runs from New York to DC those are the only two cities that they go to so I'm actually working with them to um, try it out and tell promote it on my social media channel so I'm really excited to try it out I've been really wanting to uh, try the service out for a long time but it's gonna be just like a charter bus, but like kind of luxury. They have refreshments on the bus. They have like wine, beer, um, coffee. I think they have an espresso machine. Um, and I think they also have snacks. I'm not sure if they're free or if we have to pay, but I just wanted to have some snacks for, you know, just in case we wanna eat something on the bus or if we wanna eat like a snack in the hotel. Um, yeah, so I went to Target. Went to go pick up some snacks and stuff, so um, I'm back home. I just finished cleaning, like I cleaned the kitchen, I um, did the laundry, but um, I have to fold it now. So I'm gonna fold the laundry now, and it's Sunday night, and Anto and I are gonna watch Sunday Night Football. It's the uh, Commanders and the Giants playing tonight. Anto is a Commanders fan, so we're gonna watch that and probably go to bed early. I think we have to get up around like 7, 7.30. Um, the bus leaves at 10, but I just want to get up early so that I can like get ready and um, just make sure everything is set. I've mentioned in my travel vlogs in the past, I am an anxious traveler. It doesn't matter if it's by car, bus, train, plane, like an anxious as in like I'm not nervous of the journey. I'm nervous that I'm going to like forget something or that I'm not prepared or that I don't have everything with me. So I'm very anal. Like I just want to make sure I have everything in place and that I have everything with me because um, my anxiety, like if I forget something that I really, really need, I get nervous. Um, like I never used to be like this. I don't know why I'm like this now. Like when I was a kid, a teenager, even as like a young adult, I never was like an anxious person when I would travel and if I forgot something, like I used to just travel with a t-shirt and socks and I'd be fine. But now I'm just like, I need to bring everything with me or else I get anxious. So anyway, um, sorry if this vlog was just like me packing and like prepping for the trip, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can get this laundry folding over with and so we can watch the game and end our night early. So hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. The next time I will be vlogging, we will be on our way to New York. I am so excited. So I will catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Good night.